on this computer. It's recording. So hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Chatting with Cecilia and Agnes, which is a new weekly podcast we're doing uh, to talk about associations and business and how to make the world a better place. Hey everyone, it's Monday, May 13th, and welcome to Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia. everybody it's monday april 5th and that means it's time for another episode of chatting with agnes and cecilia nonprofit conversations hey everybody it's monday march 29th and that means it's time for another episode of chatting with agnes and cecilia nonprofit conversations hey everybody it's monday march 15th and that means it's time for another episode of chatting with agnes and cecilia nonprofit conversations <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, June 22nd, and it's time for another edition of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia. I'm one of your co-hosts, Cecilia Sup. I am the co-host and founder and thank you, Agnes. And today we have two guests. We have Paul Reddish, who's the CEO of Volunteering Matters, which is based in Scotland. So Paul, would you like to say hello and maybe say something about yourself and your organization? So um, I don't know if you want to do that bit again, Cecilia, but we're actually UK wide. We're not just Scotland. So uh, oh, all right. we're, but we will. Uh, Scotland's a really small part of our work. I just live here. Okay, here we go. Hey, All's everybody. Right. It is Monday and we're Oh, here. Let me stop. We'll start. Over. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Monday, September 21st. And that means it's time for another episode of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia. I am your co-host, Cecilia. So now I'm going to turn it over to Agnes to introduce herself. Thank you, Cecilia. My name is Agnes Amos Coleman. I'm an author and a consultant with Rook Tulip. And good afternoon, good evening to our local, our global. No, we're going to have to start again. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Monday, September 21st. And that means it's time for another episode of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia. I am one of your co hosts, Cecilia Sup. I am the principal and founder of Rook Tulip's nonprofit consulting. And I am here with my co-host and friend, Agnes. Uh, so Agnes, I'm gonna throw it over to you to say hello and introduce yourself. Thank you, Cecilia. My name is Agnes Amos Coleman. <laughs> Cecilia, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, on, this is totally going in the blooper reel. Because... <laughs> hey, I don't have that problem. <laughs> We've just left our hair, everybody. Everybody is Thursday, April 8th, 2021, and we're here with a special edition of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia Nonprofit Conversations. I'm one of your co-hosts, Cecilia Sup. I'm the principal and founder of Rogue Tulips Nonprofit Consulting, and I'm here with my co-host and friend and colleague, Agnes. I'm going to throw it over to Agnes to say hello. Right. Thank you, Cecilia. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our global audience, wherever you're joining us from. My name is Agnes Amos Coleman. I'm an author and a consultant. Over to you, Cecilia. Thank you, Agnes. And why are we doing a special episode today? Well, we've recently learned that most podcasts do not last past six episodes, let alone six months. But today we are celebrating the third anniversary of Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia. 
And so we're really excited and pleased and are just thrilled that we've had so many wonderful guests over the last three years and discussed so many different topics as a way to help educate and elevate our fellow colleagues in the nonprofit community. So Agnes, what do you think is the secret of our success? You know, we have so many secrets, but the strategy for our show works. And, and I'll touch on four areas that I think that sets our show apart from other shows and, and really why we still be, well, why we're still in the game. Uh, the first one is that we provide just in time education. I know that as a professional, if I'm looking for how to do certain things, quick, snappy way of doing things, I can go to our show and pick up some little tips and ideas. So that's number one. Uh, the other one, uh, number two, is we provide knowledge sharing. We have our professionals globally that come on our show and they talk about their experiences. They share our, their experiences with their global audience. And, um, you know, it's an opportunity for them to promote themselves, to share their knowledge. And everybody wins and everybody benefits from this. Uh, the third point is professional development. Um, people use our show globally to educate their teams and they also talk about, you know, the content on our show. And so I think that that element of professional development is very, very essential. And the fourth part of it that I think sets us apart is the cultural diversity. Uh, our show is very global. It's international. We tap into guests from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from North America. Um, so that really makes us, you know, one of a kind. And I just think it's a must-see show. And, um, you know, that's, I, could, I could spend the whole day talking about this show, Cecilia. So I'm going to just hand it over to you and let you share your own perspective on why you think this is a good strategy, this show of ours. Well, thanks, Agnes. And I think your four points are a great summation of our secret sauce for success all these years. Uh, one of the things I love about our show that I think is part of the secret of its success is that what we do look for is that diversity in thought, a diversity in topics. We are welcoming of a broad variety of people as our guests. Like we do not focus only on association executives. We invite a lot of different people. We've had people from your network globally, Agnes, that have had high level positions in government or from your network also, we've had an engineer come on and talk about you know, leadership issues in engineering. And what we try to do, and I think we are successful at, is showing what we have in common. Because I think that our profession oftentimes has silos or splinter groups, however you like to think of it. But there's oftentimes people think there's such a huge difference between a C3 and a C6 when we actually have so much more in common. Now, mm -hmm. how we do our job might be different, who we serve might be different, or what we call the people we serve. But what we have in common is our dedication to making the world a better place. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really uh, the underpinning of it, because I know you and I are very committed through our consulting work and our volunteer work to promote that, those concepts. That, that's what's been so great about interviewing somebody from Bosnia and interviewing somebody from Botswana on our show. Uh, we had so much in common. And, and, and the people in Botswana and the people in Bosnia had so much in common, for example, mm -hmm. how we dealt with the pandemic. So Absolutely. I think that's really good. And Agnes, I'd also like to get your view on this. I, I have been reading recently about the concept of adaptive leadership. And mm -hmm. basically that is purposeful evolution in real time. Mm -hmm. And I read that on a website of a Canadian university. Mm -hmm. So that is not my quote, that is someone else's quote. But I think that's the other secret of our success is we have evolved dramatically and significantly over the last three years with our content and our presentation. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on that, on our purposeful evolution in real time? Well, what comes to mind, Cecilia, is that through our show, we're giving back to the association community. Because, and that is that thoughtful and purposeful leadership. Uh, we, I mean, this is voluntary. What we're doing on this show is voluntary. We're not getting paid for it. But a lot of our community are benefiting from that. And I think that leadership stems from service. Uh, and, and that leads to that purpose and service 
and our ability just to give back to the community of associations that we belong. Uh, and for me, I think that that's really a tremendous value in addition to, you know, a lot of the knowledge sharing, a lot of the benefits that we, we, we offer and, and that our show offers, I think it's that ability to give back to the community that really matters. I agree. And I think that is something that you and I have always had in common. And it's been an underpinning of all the work we've done over the years and not in this program, which we've come to love and put so much time and effort into, uh, is really an outgrowth of that commitment to our community, to our clients, to our fellow colleagues in the nonprofit profession. And, and you know, frankly, let's just face it, it's been a lot of fun, too. We've had Absolutely. a lot of fun doing this. Uh, we did a blooper reel in 2020 that actually came out really well. Uh, it was a lot of fun, got a lot of nice comments about that from the people who see it. And when somebody's having a bad day, I can say, hey, have you seen our blooper reel? It's only three minutes long. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, and kind of put a smile on their face. And, and, and you know, Cecilia, the other thought that comes to mind is the, you know, I guess they feel welcome, they feel relaxed. I know that when I've invited guests over to the show, they're like, oh my goodness, we're a little bit nervous. Is there anything we can and cannot say? And then at the course of the show and they're done with the show, they're like, oh, wow, you guys make us feel very welcome and we enjoy, we have fun during the show. And I think that that speaks volume also to just our ability to just, you know, enjoy what we do and have fun. I think that's just... That's what it's all about. If you're not loving what you do, then I think it's time to pack it out. But we're having fun, so we're not ready to pack it in yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's so true. Because we do laugh a lot on the show, uh, especially if we have somebody with a great sense of humor. Uh, we have a lot of fun. And I think, you know, Agnes, that's my favorite compliment that we get what you just brought up people say you made this easy and fun i had a yes. great time and mm -hmm. and whenever i say to people hey we, we want to have you back they say oh i'm looking forward to it i do want to come back and we've been able to create a few series uh over the last couple of years like our yes. friend aaron costello has done a series on government relations at the local mm -hmm. level. Our friend Michael Butera, who's also part of our Rogue Tulips Network, has been on many times talking about governance. Our friend Sanjay Dio has been on from 24 by 7 Security, and he does a monthly series with us. Mm -hmm. And we've just added a new regular guest, Fern Carbonell, who comes on and, and talks about midlife coaching and mm -hmm. shares her knowledge in that area. So we're really not just addressing the professional side, we're addressing the entire experience of living. And mm -hmm. I really like that we do that. Yes, it's a holistic approach. And I think that's, it works, it really works. So that's good, that's good. And, and we are booked out uh, well into advance. As I said, today's April 8th, we're already booked out into June. So uh, we know that we have something here that people want to hear and be part of and share with their own audiences. Because the other thing we like to do is help promote other people. Yes. Uh, we've had people on who have new businesses. We have people on who are with new products that they're trying mm -hmm. to get out to the world. And we're always happy to help fellow entrepreneurs uh, get their, the word out. So yes. in fact, I'm gonna add to that. I think we're booked to the end of the year. And the reason is because we're not going to be taking new guests. We're going to be inviting our older guests who have come to visit, who have been on our show. And so we're, we, we got our guests till the end of the year, and we're going to start looking into 2022 uh, very shortly. So it's fun. It's exciting. That's right. Yeah, that's true. And that's right, because Agnes has done a great job taking the lead on guest booking. So we're a great team. She's She's lead on guest booking and content development. And uh, I also work on content development and I do the production end and so uh, and get the social media out there. So it's great. So I'm going to put this out there. If you are a member of the nonprofit community in any way, shape or form, and you'd like your 15 minutes of fame, send us an email and we'll see if we can get you on the show in 2022. Because Agnes is right, we have a lot of guests that want to come back, that we want to have back. Yes. Uh, to talk about a variety of issues we're all facing, in-person meetings, uh, post-lockdown, mm -hmm. travel, post-lockdown. How are we going to start doing in-person meetings? What are the legal issues? What are the planning issues? 
how is our board governance going to change once we can start going back in person? Some people mm -hmm. said their decision making went faster mm -hmm. in lockdown uh, because people just did it as opposed to having to travel. And then you have a lot of things that go into that. But we have a lot of different issues to discuss and we want to bring people back and say, what do you see now? You have you were on the show a few months ago. What do you see now? We're bringing back a lot of our international guests to mm -hmm. kind of give us their updates and talk about some different issues. And so that was really a commitment we made. Uh, originally the show, we have a couple minutes left in this episode, so I'm gonna give a quick recap. Originally, Agnes and I, we've been friends for a number of years now. We used to work together and we'd have these long, really deep conversations about a lot of different topics. And one day I said to Agnes, you know, we should record these because these are really good conversations. And so mm -hmm. that's what led to chatting with Agnes and Cecilia, because Agnes and I used to chat a lot at length about very serious things related to business and personal living and how to be a better human being. Mm -hmm. So we started out talking about Agnes's book, Transforming Business Through Godly Governance, and we did a three-part series on that. And then we did just have us for quite a while. And then we said, you know, we should have a guest every month. Mm -hmm. We should commit to that. And then we committed to two guests a month. And the next thing you knew, we were booking a guest every week. We do this pretty much every week, except on holidays uh, or if, if something happens in our personal lives. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, during the three years, uh, with all the highs, Agnes and I have both had some lows. Um, but we, we kept on trucking, as they used to say in the 70s. Uh, and so then we made a commitment this year to expand to that global audience, uh, thanks to Agnes's connections, because you may not know this about Agnes, but not only has she lived in other countries outside the United States, she's also worked at large international associations and made connections with people all over the world. So we were able to tap into that and uh, to continue using my network as well in the US and meeting new people. I've met a lot of new people uh, thanks to my personal commitment of expanding my own network in the US. So we've had a lot of really interesting people. We just had somebody on talking about real estate for nonprofits post pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's going to be a big issue. So we also have our pulse, I think, Agnes, and you may agree or disagree with this, but I think we have our pulse on what people are talking about. Oh, absolutely. I think that, you know, part of what makes us successful as an association, as professionals, is really understanding what the business environment of the day is really all about. Uh, our lives are changing, our business environment is changing, and keeping a pulse on those situations, I think, um, allows us to share knowledge with our global audience at the same time, allow us as individuals to begin to hone in on what we should be doing better. And, and we can only do that um, on the show because that's what makes us successful. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely do agree with you, Cecilia, that keeping the pulse on the business environment, on the association environment, on what keeps business moving and ticking, it's part of our success, not only as uh, chatting with Agnes and Cecilia, but also as individuals and professionals within the association community. Well said, I agree. So we are uh, at the end of our time because even though it's a special episode and it's our show, we, we still have a commitment to our audience to try to keep a reasonable length of time. So as we like to say, we need to go rogue for now, but Agnes, I would like to say happy third anniversary. And to you, Cecilia, and many more, many more. Thank you. And looking forward, my friend, to continuing our show together. Me too. So we are going to go rogue, and if you'd like to help us celebrate our anniversary, uh, subscribe to our playlist on YouTube. Uh, you can find it by searching for Chatting with Agnes and Cecilia Nonprofit Conversations. So until next time, and our next anniversary next year, we are going rogue, and we will be back with another episode. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.